So we have the final release of Home Assistant for this year, that is the December release of Home Assistant. So let's look at what we are going to get this December. In this release, Home Assistant introduced a new option in the system section called Labs. Now what is this lab section? Here Home Assistant will release some new features that the team is working on but these features are given to the users as preview features. Now these features are not like beta features or unstable, they are stable and fully tested features that are rolled out to get some feedback. So they may get modified or even disappear based on the feedback it receives. Now this lab section allows you to enable or disable these features and Home Assistant has provided two preview features in this release. First one is the intuitive trigger and conditions and the other one is the winter mode. Now when you try to enable a feature, it will first give you the option to take a backup just to be on the safe side. In the winter mode, Home Assistant UI gets this beautiful winter effect with a lovely snowfall. Then the next feature is about creating automations in a more intuitive manner. Let's take an example. You want to do say something when you turn on the bulb. So now what you would do is something like this. Choose the device option, then select the target, then select the trigger. But what if you select the target first, that is your bulb, and then select the trigger on it. This is what the new feature gives you. Now for the same example, after enabling this new feature, you will first get to select the bulb from the area it belongs to and then select the trigger that is available on the bulb, which is much more intuitive as we go directly to the target and choose the trigger. Now along with this, the entities and devices are neatly organized in this left panel so you can drill down from your area to the device or entity in the area. Now this is not only available for triggers but will also be available for conditions. Like here you can have the target section and then you can drill down to your device and select the conditions that are available on the device. I think this is totally in the right direction that Home Assistant is heading towards to make automations more easier and intuitive while creating them. Then next we have quite some changes related to your dashboard. Firstly, when you set the default dashboard, this setting is now system wide, that is it will be instantly applied to all the users. However, each user has this option under their profile to select their own default dashboard. Next in the new release, home dashboard is now a proper built in dashboard and also this new sidebar with quick links that it thinks is useful for you. Now currently this home dashboard organized areas alphabetically and the flows numerically which you may not always want them to be in this order. So in this release under the areas, labels and zone section, you can now reorder the areas and the flows by simply dragging and dropping them in the way you want them to be ordered and this will be automatically reflected in the home dashboard. Now for energy dashboards, we were able to see our consumption in kilowatt hours over a period of time. But sometimes we would like to see the real time power consumption and this is what will be available in the new release. When you configure your individual devices in the energy consumption dashboard, you can now also choose the power consumption entity and this will appear in the energy dashboard like this. Now along with the energy dashboard, we have some new additions to the water consumption part wherein you can now add downstream meters to break down your water usage. There will be a brand new visualization card to help you visualize the water flow. Then we have quite some new integrations in this release such as the Google Air Quality integration, Google Weather integration that provides hourly forecast for the next 24 hours and daily forecast for the next 10 days. Then we have the Home Assistant lab section that we spoke about earlier and we have here is the Philips Hue BLE integration to control Philips Hue Bluetooth lights directly from Home Assistant without the need of a Hue bridge. So one less bridge in your smart home now. Now apart from these new integrations, we have some improvements to the existing integrations like the Tuya integration provides some more options. Then we have open AI conversation integration supporting GPT 5.1 model. Then SwitchBot thermostat radiator valve is now available in the SwitchBot integration and cloud API integration. Then we have Entropic integration that now supports AI tasks and Portainer can now show you the resource usage of your containers. Then in this new release, your voice assistant pipeline 
debug section now provides more information on what the AI conversation agent did and what it called to perform the command. Like here I asked it to turn on the utility switch and I can now see what was sent to ChatGPT, what was invoked as a part of performing the action and what was the result of the action. One more exciting feature in this release is that if you are using Home Assistant Android companion app then you can directly add entities to widgets and favorites from the entities more information dialog box. For example here I have this widget to turn on or turn off the light. Now if you like to see such quick updates about Home Assistant releases then make sure to subscribe to the channel as well as hit that like button for more such videos to come. Now if you want you can support this channel via Patreon or you can just buy me a coffee. Till then take care and I'll see you in my next one.